Hello. I was just watching Pastor Paul Begley and Mike from around the world was on there and he was talking about Nibiru and how, you know, I mean, it's true how Nibiru is causing, like, drastic climate changes and uh, creating more and more earthquakes and volcanoes like we've never seen before, like down in Hawaii we just witnessed. You know, we have this polar vortex that came through. Fucking bombs, cyclones, you know, I mean, just it just goes on and on and on and on and on. The list just keeps going on. But it's only going to get worse. So put that on your calendar. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Come like 2020, you know, fuck. Then, then the weather's really going to start hitting getting uh, sporadic so the closer that this thing gets to us and the closer that it that it, it can grab a hold of us it's just pulling tugging on us it's like a tug of war it's just pulling on us right now so but uh you know there's nothing we can do about it because this thing's four times the size of we are so you know, it's its own solar system. It consists of moons, it consists of uh, trillions of asteroids, and it consists of its own sun. This is its own solar system coming in the middle of our solar system. Well, this can't be good. And unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. And unfortunately, that's what we're seeing up there in the skies. And unfortunately, Mike from around the world has been trying to video videotape this thing and view it, and I'm like, well, I see it coming in, you know, because it's, it's way out there. But it's given off a little bit of a heat signature. The sun is illuminating this thing. So do I have all the answers to tell you exactly what day this fucking thing's going to come in? No, because every report that I've talked to and every, everybody I've talked to, every source, says that this thing speeds up and slows down and goes from clockwise to counterclockwise. So it's constantly, it's constantly changing up there. So you, there is no estimated time of arrival you know, for like a date or anything like that. I mean, I can give you a kind of a timeline. You know, your timeline's probably going to be like 2021 through 2023, roughly. I know a lot of you on there are like, well, it looks a lot closer than that. You know, it could be it could be sooner. It could be. It really could be. I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it. That's why I've already, I've already got all my shit together. I'm good to go. I got a place to go. If, you know, when the shit really hits the fan, that's where I'm headed. I'm headed out to the farm. You just got to get away from major centers of population. You can't be around that because all the roads are going to be turned into parking lots and everybody's going to be shooting each other in the face for milk and diapers. So, you know, they got kids and they're going to do whatever they can do to provide for their kids, you know, when the, when the apocalypse happens. So, will we survive this apocalypse? I believe so. I believe, I, I believe... Mankind has survived it before, and mankind will survive it again. A lot of you out there are thinking it's going to completely eradicate and wipe out all of, all of Earth. It could. It just depends on exactly how close it gets. If it gets too close, yeah, we're all fucked. But you know what? In the end, we're all fucked anyway. So, you know, the day we we're born, the day we begin to die, the day our cells begin to die. So, unfortunately, no matter what happens, in the end, we're all fucking dead anyway. So what the fuck's the difference? You know, it's just... Some of us get to live and lead long, prosperous lives, and some of us don't get to lead long, prosperous lives at all. That's why uh, Yahshua, Mahamashiach, you know, Jesus Christ, he has angels as babies up in heaven because there's a, there's a reason, there's a purpose for everything. Me and my wife, we had a miscarriage before Bryson, and I, and I talked to her, and we realized that and I told her, I said, it just wasn't meant to be. There was something wrong. And then, she, you know, she was so mad because she saw this little, this girl walk in from the prison, you know, that was pregnant. You know, and she's like, what if that bitch can get pregnant, you know, being in prison? Why the hell can't I? And oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah, I remember that day. How do you forget a day like that? So, and how do you, how do you respond to something like that? So. Yeah, I just gave her a big hug and a kiss. So, But anyway, I love you all. So Mike from around the world talking about Nibiru, the waves of energy and how it's going to affect Mother Earth.
You know, things are gonna get a lot worse. You know, you're gonna be see, you're gonna be seeing you know earthquakes now, or you're gonna be start seeing six pointers and twelve pointers and so on and so forth. The closer this thing gets to us, keep an eye on the earthquakes and keep an eye on you know volcanic eruptions. Keep an eye on meteors coming in. These are all the things that most people already are keeping an eye on because they already know what the system entails and they already know what the system is bringing in with it. And they already know it's a tug of war. And we're going to lose our ass on this one. So there ain't much we can do about that. <laughs> we ain't very big. Sorry to tell you, I mean, Earth seems, seems like a pretty big place, right? But in all honesty, when it comes down to it, when it comes to the solar system, Earth's nothing, dude. So... It's just a fucking pinprick out there, dude. So, all right. Well, anyway, I love you all. So you guys have a good night. So uh, I do have bad news. I did walk out there, and I was looking at the skies, and it is complete and utter cloud cover. So there will be no beaving whatsoever. So anyway, so if anything major happens in the news in the, in the next coming couple hours, I will report on it. So, but... Uh, as always, love from Fargo, and uh, have a good night. Stay strong out there. All right, love you all.